Hey guys, it's Leah, and as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to straighten naturally curly hair. It's so funny that on the days that I want to straighten my hair, my hair actually turns out the way I want it, which is really weird. But yeah. The reason that I want to straighten my hair is because I haven't done it since November and I just need a little break from curly hair because lately it hasn't been doing what I want it to do since, you know, it's the winter time and like your hair gets really dry and it doesn't listen to you and just does all this stuff. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys step one. Step one is to obviously wash your hair or if your hair was already washed and curled and didn't really have any product in it, then you could just start straightening your hair from there. To clean my hair, I use a Tresemme Color Revitalize shampoo. I don't know why I used it, but it worked pretty good. And to condition, I used a Tresemme Moisture Rich for Dry and Damaged Hair Conditioner. This works really good. Like, I used it once when my hair was curly. It actually worked so good because my hair was, like, really soft. While I was rinsing out the conditioner, I took a wide tooth comb and I was combing out my hair because it makes it really easy for straightening and blow drying your hair because you won't have a lot of knots and it makes it just ten times easier. Like, see, as I'm doing right now, like, my hands are going through my hair really easy. So that's why it's important to use a white tooth comb when you're going to straighten your hair. And after that, you start applying your products and straightening your hair. So let's get started. For heat protectant, sort of, I'm going to be using the Honey I'm Strong Straightening Serum, and it's from Herbal Essences. On the back, it says, apply this little formula to wet hair to help provide strength against styling damage and silky locks you'll love. So I'm pretty sure that this is a heat protectant, so that's why I'm going to be using this. Just going to take a little bit in the palm of my hand. Not that much. Then I'm going to apply that all throughout my hair. I'm just going to take a little bit more from my roots and my ends. For blow drying, I'm going to be using my Revlon hair dryer and I can't find the diffuser attachment. But what I would usually do is attach the diffuser to it and then run the little bristles like through my hair to like comb it out and dry it at the same time. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to be taking a brush and just doing it the old fashioned way like this. I'm also going to be taking some Moroccan Argan Oil and just distributing that throughout my hair also. Now I'm just going to take my ponytail holder and clip up half of my hair and do a little ponytail thing I obviously look like a tiger right now, but that actually worked pretty good. That was my first time trying it differently. So I'm kind of happy with the results because to me, this is pretty straight. Maybe I should leave it like this, guys. I'm going to be using this straightener and it's by Remington. Please excuse how it looks. It's really old and stuff. 
I got it um, for my birthday in 2012, so that's why it looks all crusty, but it works really good. It's always the old straighteners that work the best. And while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm gonna take selfies! Yeah, but basically that's what I do. And I set my straightener to 390 degrees. You're gonna start by taking your hair and putting it half up, half down, but taking most of your middle section. And I'm gonna be taking half of my lower section and also tying that up to get that out of the way. Then take your brush and start straightening. And as you can see, because of the blow drying, it made straightening 10 times easier. So I really, really, really suggest that you guys blow dry your hair before straightening it. I remember when I used to just straighten my hair and wait for my hair to air dry. And it was the worst thing ever because curly hair takes really long to dry. So most of the time my hair was kind of damp. So I really suggest that you guys use a blow dryer. Forget those little baby hairs you have, but please be careful. Got the little baby hairs. Take your hair out of the ponytail once again and take the lower half. <sighs> then begin straightening that part. top half of my hair so now I'm just gonna take this part up this is where I begin to look like a crazy person Ooh. top middle so now we're gonna go to the last part is this baby right here I do this part a little differently just put it down like this comb it through and then straighten most of it right here that just go over any parts that you think might need a little bit more straightening I'm not sure, but that probably took about 45 minutes to an hour. But yeah, that is how I straightened my hair. I know you guys have been requesting this since like day one, since like I first made my YouTube. But I was always so scared to do the video because I was scared that like I would get ridiculed for like how I did it. Because people on YouTube are pretty judgmental, but you know, I don't care anymore. Please give this video a thumbs up. If oh my god. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Peace, guys. Thank you so much for 7,000 and up subscribers. Oh, my God.
See you next week. Peace, guys.